Hi everybody, it's great to be back here today. Today we're going to talk a very important topic, which is youth. And more important, how do we help youth in a region like Latin America? So my great pleasure to be with Jennifer Brooks today, which is our Head of Philanthropies in Latin America. Jennifer, welcome. Thank you, Cesar. Thank you for having me. It's great to have you here. You know that I'm very passionate about youth. And in Latin America especially, we have a great opportunity to really change and help society. Why don't you tell us a little bit more about the programs that we are currently running in Latin America and the impact that we're having with them? As you say, the opportunities are tremendous. We have some challenges as well. 50% of our youth in the region do not finish high school. How do we collaborate for this 50% of people that drop out from high school to have the opportunities? We can't do this alone. This can only be done through our public-private partnership. Our focus is to provide opportunities through partners like the Trust for the Americas, Laboratoria, CDI, and many others that they can teach the digital skills and including, of course, computer science for them to have employment, create entrepreneurship, or continue their education. When I was you know, a strong believer on, on, I'm very committed to these youth, um, there's two elements there. One is, when we look at the total population in Latin America, there's more than 150 million students. But as you well said, almost 50% of them drop off, you know, and they don't really go to college, not even finish high school. So one of the things that I, when I look into the digital transformation journey that the world is going through. I'm a strong believer how this digital transformation has got democratized society. And it's a huge opportunity for our youth in Latin America to take advantage of the new opportunities. Now, very important discussion that we're having is what are the skills needed? You know, help us understand what are the skills needed to really make this breakthrough. So when we talk about digital skills, we talk about two main things, I would say, that are fundamental for young people to be part of our fourth industrial revolution. Right. One is digital literacy. We still have to start from the very beginning. Mm -hmm. There are still a lot of people in Latin America that don't have the digital literacy. How do I turn on the computer? How do right. I open an email? How do I work our office products, for example, that are needed in every job? And then computer science. So how do we develop the critical thinking skills, the problem solving skills, the, the logic skills that are needed, not only to be a creator of technology, but for everyday life, how do I solve every problem that, and creativity comes through computer science. One of our you know, big um, challenges now is how we include computer science in formal and non-formal education. And one of the things that I was gonna say is, Clearly, one of the areas that I know you spend a lot of time and you know that I'm very passionate is about women, youth, women, and really help them with these digital skills. So I know we have special programs and we're trying to help with computer science for women and, and youth. Can you help us understand a little bit about some of those programs yeah. and what can we do together to help here? The issue with women and gender diversity is something very close to our heart. Not only in, as, Microsoft, as our Microsoft work, but also us personally in Latin America, all of us involved in this Microsoft Philanthropies work. We have seen um, a lot of advancements since women and Ada Lovelace created, you know, the first person who created computer science and, and started coding. Um, during the Second World War, and just to give you a little history here, when men came back from Second World War, they thought that women were just typing. And that's when women were back displaced from computer science. And, and men took over that, they were just typing kind of role. But women have been declining in their choice of computer science and, and STEM careers through many decades. And now we have a problem. Women are not represented in technology companies or are not represented in the creation of technology. We work with organizations like Promujer, who work specifically in microentrepreneurship, giving microcredits, and how we collaborate with the digital skills and giving the opportunity to learn computer science. And I think that's one of the most important things. How are we really helping on that you know, digitalization and supporting them. And I know that um, lately we've been doing several programs, especially um, some of the uh, the Hour of Code and some others. Mm -hmm. 
So uh, why you don't give us the latest? And I know that you want to have a challenge for me, right? Right now, Cesar. We are running the October Computer Science Focus campaign. We call it Yo Puedo Programar, Eu Puedo Programar for Brazil. And the challenge we have is that throughout these years, already four million young people in Latin America have started to learn how to code. But we want to show this year, how do we really implement computer science right. in schools? Right and in non-formal education, in non-profits. We have a super partnership with the Secretaries of Youth in the region, with many organizations, and we created a little tutorial, a little training in Microsoft Virtual Academy that actually gives you a diploma, a Microsoft right. diploma, where you learn how to create your first website. So I hope your next post and your next video is about how you learn how to create your own first website. You have my commitment. Okay. I don't know going to be my next post, <laughs> but that I'm going to do it on time. Soon. I'll make sure that I do it. So I hope that everybody has learned a little bit more about not just the opportunity that we have in the region, but more important, our own obligation to create a better world by supporting uh, the youth, supporting in this case as well, um, women, but not just women. I'll say the total youth in the region, there's a great opportunity on these digital skills to foster a new economy, and more important, create new jobs and making sure that we have a much better future ahead. Jennifer, thank you so much for being with us. I've learned a lot today. Thank you. Thank you.